Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Saturday mountain weather update, and it is a powder day in parts of Colorado. This is Winter Park, uh, reporting nine inches of snow in the last 24 hours. I mean, it just looks spectacular up there uh, today. In fact, here's the uh, the report out of uh, Winter Park. There's your nine inches. Um, looking at uh, temperature of about 30 degrees, so it's not terribly cold. Uh, as expected, the spring warmth has really taken hold of the West. But nonetheless, it's good to see uh, 9 inches, 324 for the season. I mean, that's got to be up there in the top three uh, ski resorts for season snow in Colorado. It's very close, um, but uh, good to see. All right, let me show you radar across the West. So the storm that rolled through Colorado, that was sort of the first wave, and I'll show you that it's kind of rolling through Denver and the Eastern Plains now. But there's the second one back here. You can see some spin over Boise, Idaho. That's the second sort of wave or area of low pressure that will now rotate and pivot down through Utah. And I do expect snow for the Wasatch this afternoon tonight. Likely some snow up around the uh, the Tetons as well. And this one will also sort of rotate down through Colorado. Uh, overnight into tomorrow as well. Here's the radar out of Colorado. So here's the first wave. This is the one that snowed up on the Continental Divide up at Winter Park and Loveland and A Basin. Now rain across uh, Denver and the Eastern Plains, and that'll be moving on out during the course of the day. Up in the Northeast, as expected, some ice, some snow, depending on your elevation and location. You've got snow up there through parts of upstate New York, uh, northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and parts of Maine. And then there's the ice line in pink. All right, here's water vapor across the west mid-level. So oranges and reds are your drier air. Your moisture's in the whites and the blues. Couple of things to mark. There goes our initial wave, and then there's the secondary one behind it that will sort of follow suit a uh, similar track through a lot of Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado. And you've got a big area of low pressure sitting here and another one behind it. All of that will play into the extended forecast. All right, my snow timeline, best odds of snow for uh, Big Sky, the Wasatch, the Tetons, Colorado, uh, Interior BC, the Pacific Northwest, Tahoe, and the Northeast. So, for example, in the Wasatch, I've got light to moderate snow accumulation coming this afternoon and tonight, and then light on 3.30, and then heavy with, on 3.31 into 4.1 with a larger storm system, light on 4.2, and then moderate 4.344. So that first week of April looks pretty active. In the Tetons, you've got light to moderate snow coming late today into tomorrow with the second wave. Then you've got uh, heavy snow, 331 into 41, light 4243, and then moderate 44. In Colorado, you've got uh, light snow accumulation coming late tonight into tomorrow. Heavy on 41, light 42, and then heavy 4445. I showed you the northeast. It's a big mix up there today. Uh, running all the way through the 31st, and then just rain on 4-3. So that's how it's all going to play out up there. Here's the jet stream forecast. So we'll start this early this morning. You're looking at jet level winds up at about 30,000 feet. So the brighter colors are going to be your stronger winds, and I'm also looking for the dips and the kinks in that flow. Those are going to be your areas of low pressure. We'll start this again early this morning. And so a couple of areas of low pressure. You can see the kink kind of coming out of northeast Colorado into the plains, and then behind it, there's another one coming out of Idaho that will dive through Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado. All right, moving this ahead in time, there it goes. So there's uh, late today into early Sunday, that low moves out of Colorado. Another little disturbance behind it coming out of the Pacific Northwest, rolling through the Rockies, and that takes us into early Monday. Okay, now th this pattern, uh, this is early on Tuesday, April 1st. This, uh, notice the jet, basically west to east, that would be escorting in another storm system. And then that storm rolls through the Rockies, Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. There's late on Tuesday, early Wednesday. <laughs> another storm system behind it. This is midday on Wednesday, April 2nd. And look at the size of that trough. That's, uh, let's go early. That's early uh, Thursday, April 3rd. So that's a much more significant storm. And notice it rolls kind of through the four corners. This is early Friday, April 4th. And it just kind of sits. There's there's early Sunday, April 6th. And it just kind of sits and then it rolls out eventually. 
but it takes that southern track. It's such a deep trough. Um, so that'll be really interesting to see how that plays out. All right, snow forecast over time. So on this map, your light blues are your lightest accumulations under 3 inches. Greens are 3 to 6, yellow 6 plus, reds 10 plus. So we'll start it early this morning. Notice the snow, uh, leftover snow in Colorado moving out. Another wave right here. This is late tonight into Sunday morning. That rolls through Utah, Wyoming, Montana, and through Colorado, central to northern mountains. You can see it there, and then it moves out. This is midday on Sunday. There's early Monday. Storm system hitting uh, central to northern California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho. Um, this is early on Tuesday, April 1st. Snow for the Wasatch. Snow through Idaho, Montana, the Teton, central to northern mountains of Colorado. Um, there's early on Wednesday, the uh, second storm rolls out. Another little kink in the flow. There's early Thursday, the third. Potentially some snow up in the northeast in northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, Maine. Um, okay, here's early Friday, April 4th. Uh, notice this is that southern, it appears as though that southern track low heads towards the four corners. This would be early Saturday, April 5th. A lot of snow potentially for parts of New Mexico, southern Colorado. Um, here's early Sunday, April 6th. Still sitting down there and spinning. Not going anywhere. There's early Monday, April 7th. Okay, so let's talk about numbers. Here's my forecast all the way through the second. So just through the second. And remember, there's snow beyond this as well. But 10 to 22 inches for the Wasatch. Um, anywhere from 10 to 20 inches up in the Tetons. A foot or more through Red Lodge, Big Sky, and Bridger Bowl. A foot at Hoggeton in Wyoming. In Colorado, the biggest numbers are in the central to northern mountains, anywhere from 8 to 16 inches of accumulation there across the I-70 corridor north. In the southern mountains, less. However, beyond this period, remember that southern track uh, low that goes through the four corners and it just kind of sits and spins. Those numbers could certainly go up beyond this time period. In the Sierra, 1 to 2 feet or more. From Mammoth to Tahoe up to Shasta. Shasta is approaching 3 feet. Uh, about 10 to 20 inches for the Pacific Northwest. I've got lots of sixes through interior BC and about 10 for a lot of Idaho. Okay, up in the Northeast, you've got precipitation falling as we speak in the form of snow in northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and Maine, uh, and also ice in a mix. Then you've got an additional storm system down the road. So we'll pick up anywhere from four to eight inches of accumulation through Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. All right, guys, we're going to end on the big western map here. And again, we've got uh, some action uh, that'll take us all the way into the first week of April. Looking for some decent numbers here. Doesn't all come at once, but decent numbers for this time of the year. Temperatures remain on the warmer side. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.